Hello cousins, it's your girl Angela. So I'm back with another Southern Comfort dish. And so this evening we're going to make a lemon pound cake, but we're gonna do the cake mix hack, okay? And so we're gonna make a pound cake, a lemon pound cake. And then once the pound cake is done, we're gonna make a lemon lime glaze to drizzle around the top of our cake, okay? So let's come on over and let's get started. All right, let me show you what we're doing. See if you all can see me. Here we go. There we go. All right, so we have our clean bowl, we have our clean hands. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. And so for this, I'm going to use four large eggs right into my bowl. Put this in the sink to make, for the dishwasher. I have one cup of buttermilk okay i'm gonna pour that right over in there just like that just like that and i'm gonna use my cake spatula to get what little i have because we ain't got to be throwing our money away on the buttermilk i can't i can't do that i gotta get all my money out for the buttermilk okay they can have it where they make it but right now i need all my money i made i brought for this buttermilk all right cool beans Okay, so then we put that cup in the sink for the dishwasher. All right, cool. And so the next, I have my two-third cups of melted butter. Wait a minute, I got to get my cake spatula because I got to get all my butter. Okay, I can't throw all my butter away, see? We got to go in there and tell you about throwing away y'all money. Don't keep letting them folks throw away your money. I can't do that. Mm -mm. All right. So we don't need all that there. All right. Put that in the sink for the dishwasher. All right. So next, what we're going to do is I'm going to begin mixing my ingredients. All right. Okay, now that we've mixed all of our well our wet ingredients thoroughly now we're going to open our lemon cake mix and I'm using a Betty cracker now, I love Pillsbury I love Duncan Hines but um, today we're gonna be using a Betty cracker okay gotta make sure you get your money out, out of the corner sometimes cake mix be up in it I gotta get all my money out the corner so then we're gonna use our KitchenAid shears we're gonna open our bag these are some sharp shears. So now I'm gonna mix this on over in here with it. Put this in my little trash bag over here. Okay. So then next, what I like to do, is I'm going to use the old fashioned Watkins lemon flavor extract. So, like, I like to use one tablespoon in here, but I'm going to use two, okay? Because I love me some lemon. Okay, so I'm going to add two tablespoons fulls of Watkins lemon extract in here. Mm, this stuff tastes so good, Jesus. I ain't even trying to come to play with y'all. All right. This is what my mother and grandmother used to buy. But I love McCord mix, too, but this is my number one go-to. And when I can't get to that... Then I just go on down to McCormick. So then I'm going to have one tablespoon of McCormick vanilla extract. Okay. All right. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Just like that. It smells so good. And then... <coughs> I'm going to add one, uh, this is 1.34 ounces of lemon jello instant pudding mix. I'm going to add that to my mixture. The 
a little money out the corner, honey, because sometimes they be stuck in the corner. I need to get all my money out. So I had that on over here with it. It's going to give it such a um, lemony flavor. It's going to enhance that flavor in your cake, honey. It's going to be so nice and moist and delicate. Honey, it's going to be real super lemony. I got to get all my money out of there. I can't let everything be dripping out in there. Mm -mm. And so then I get to the favorite part of my cake mix. This is where I get to the favorite part of my cake mix is, let me put, square this up right quick. Put all this away. Let me put this in my little trash over here. I like to clean as much, clean as I go, how my mother and grandmother taught us. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a clean spoon, right? Let me get a clean spoon. Give me a minute. Yeah, let me see my little drawer, my little things in it. So listen, I like to take this by Duncan Hines, and I like to add in about two to three tablespoons. But this time we're going to put a tablespoon and a half in it, okay? All right. So I'll take this lemon cake mix. You're going to put one, two. Trust me. Trust the process, honey. You're going to love this, honey. This cake is about to be it. All right, here we go. Cousin AJ, come to play. Let me put this down for a minute so I can get all my money out. Oh, shit. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrape all that off because it's going in the cake anyway. Look at that. we got to get all our money. All right. I can't throw nothing away, honey. All right, so then there we go. Now we ready. All right. And then I'm going to just take like some real lemon juice. And I'm just going to put like probably a cap foil in there. Just a cap foil. All right, honey. We in there like Flynn, honey. We about to get this cake on the road. My oven is set at 335. Let's get the mixing. <laughs> You see how I did that? I'm gonna put it back down there. My mother always taught us you have the beaters on, you pull them up slow so it won't go splattering everywhere. You see how I did that? My mother always taught us that we were coming up as kids. That's how you do it. All right, so now we're gonna get these cake beaters to the to the sink for the dishwasher. All right, let me just clean up my little area right here. Lord, I just keep knocking everything over. All right. So here we go. Now, I have on standby behind me. I have on standby. I have my cake pan, nice and clean. All right. And so I also have my favorite spray that I like to use. And where is it at? Baker's Joy. So we're going to use our Baker's Joy. And so I have my oven set on 335. And I'll let this in there for about, mm, oh shoot, until it's uh, nice and done. Let me see what the box says. I forgot what it says, but I'll, I never go by the box because I don't set my temperature. So it says 38 to 43 minutes. Mine will be in there for approximately 30 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. But because I'm using these non-stick Calphalon pans, I don't use the setting on my stove as the box recommended. I always use 335 when I'm using expensive pans like Calphalon because I like for my stuff to be nice, moist, and delicate. And I ain't trying to burn the size of my cake on the bottom. So I would suggest if you're using an expensive non-stick pan as I do to set your oven on 335, it shouldn't cook for no more than 25, 30 minutes until the toothpick comes out done each so each stove setting is different so it just depends on how fast your setting in your stove cooks if that's the way i can properly tell you okay oh my god this cake smells so good mm -mm -mm. okay mm, lord 
Lord Jesus, let me tell you, this cake smells so god darn good. But what I enjoy about it when it come out the oven and it's cooled down for five or ten minutes and I go ahead and I start getting my glaze together, it's just that lemony flavor. Oh, it goes all through there, honey. It's how you sop it up right, baby. You got to sop this cake on in there right. I am told y'all about throwing y'all money where y'all going back in directions on the back of that box. Ain't nobody told you to go around here. Use them folk direction on the back of y'all box. I don't told y'all because Angie be trying to tell the children for the one time. But mm -mm, y'all ain't trying to listen to me. Mm -mm. Y'all not trying to listen. I'm trying to get all my money out this bowl right here because I ain't throwing my money away. Y'all see that? The bowl going to be so empty. All they got to do is go to the dishwasher because I ain't trying to leave my money in here. Y'all need to stop throwing y'all money away. I'm not playing. All right, look, I get that tiny bit around the side, too, because I can't throw that away either. All right, okay. All right, so then what we're going to do, we're going to go around here like that for the one time, mix all the cousins in there together. But we need everybody to be happy. We can't be happy. We can't eat together. We need to eat together, so that means we want to mix everybody on in there together. All right. Make sure everything's even out. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Bring it on home, honey. Look, I, ain't, I don't care if I got to scrape the cake like that. Cousin and Angie ain't trying to leave little cousin on the side at the football game. Mm -mm. We got to get all that there. Mm -mm. Probably saying cousin and just a little bit of cake. That's just a little bit of money. Okay. All right. Well, if we can't get no more, that's okay. We'll just go ahead and sop her on up, put her on over there, Betty Lou. All right? All right. Let them all go on and cook together. They got to get their money off. Look at that. Got to get all my money off that cake. Mm-hmm. That cake's special. All right? Cool beans. Let me get the air pockets, air pockets, air bubbles out of there. All right. All right, cousins. We're going to the oven on 335, and I'll be back in about 25, 30 minutes. My cousin Lulu will get done in that oven, baby. Okay, cousin, so our lemon cake is done, and it's out of the oven. I have a bag of confectionate sugar, so we're going to make our own lemon lime glaze, okay? So let me show this beautiful lemon cake, and then <clears throat> let me put this over here first by the bowl. Okay, so then listen, honey. Cousin Angie don't want to mess up the love and the cake. All right. Look at that bad baby. Her is pretty. Her is pretty, honey. And her smell good, too. Put her right on down softly. Okay, cool, cousins. Come on, let's get with it. Uh oh, let me move y'all on back some so y'all can see the beauty. Her name Beauty. Okay, cool. I don't want y'all to see me. I want y'all to see the cake. I don't want y'all to see me. Okay, cool. <clears throat> And then I got my glasses on me, Lord. Y'all forgive me, honey. Let me put the glasses over here for the one time. Thank you. Okay, Lou. So, <clears throat> we got our beautiful lemon cake. So, we're going to switch places. Got our clean bowl. Okay, we got everything we need. So, what we're going to do here, I'm going to put her there for one minute. Okay? So, listen. We're going to open up <clears throat> our lemon glaze. <clears throat> Excuse me. The sinus infection is really bothering me. So listen, I get all my money out the corner. I told y'all the money be up in the corner, honey. It's like playing at the casino. We got to get the money, honey. All right, cool. So we get our KitchenAid shears. We're going to open that up. I'm bad baby sharp, too. Just like that. Put her over here in the trash. So listen, <clears throat> I'm going to get me about two cups of the confectioner's sugar, okay? That, that, that is not two cups, Angie. We just need one for right now, okay? So here's the one cup, okay? We may get more than two. Yeah, we may get more than two. I think we will. Okay, so that go two. We'll just go for even three. How about that? It'd be cool. All right. So look, we got three cups of confectioner sugar. I get all my money, honey. All right, cool. 
we're going to set her right here in case we need to go back and get some more, which I doubt it. Okay, then I fold it over like that. And I do it like this to keep it fresh. And then I'll put it in my refrigerator so I get all the air out of it, just like that. And then I'll put it in my refrigerator and keep it fresh. Okay. Now listen, this is what I like to do. We're going to take some more of that Duncan Hines, okay, the Lemon Supreme. And we're just going to use about a teaspoon. That's all we're going to use. You probably say, because it ain't the way to do it. You do it your way. This is the way I'm going to do it. Honey, because it works every time for me, honey. Works every time. I've never failed on this. So, don't sleep on it, honey. You better listen to Cousin Angie. She's trying to help y'all. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get it. So, we got two teaspoons. And it's Duncan Heim Lemon Frosting. Okay. Oh, we. Trust me on this one. Okay. So, I'm going to put that in the sink for the dishwasher. So, remember, you need the Duncan Heinz Creamy Lemon Supreme. That's what you need. Okay, so listen, go back and get a little bit of that Watkins. We're just going to get just about a drip. We don't even need a, we don't even need a cap for honey. We're just going to get like a little drip. Okay, like that way right there. All right, then listen. Now, this is a fourth a cup, but it's not. I actually measured a half, uh, half a cup in here. So we're going to put like a half a cup of milk in there. All right, we're going to put us a drip. Of the lime juice in there all right who knows what I might do we're gonna say more now we're gonna say about two oh lord we're gonna say about two tablespoons yep and so then we're gonna come to the real lemon okay be sure to shake it up honey I should have shook up the lime juice too all right so here we go honey we gonna whip this on up in there. Woo! Jesus, cousin Angie, put too much, honey. That came out a little bit too fast. Oh Lord, that's probably like three tablespoons. I went too fast on the system. That's okay. We are gonna whip it on up in there just like that. We'll go back and add us another cup of that uh confection sugar. Yeah, we are gonna need another cup. So let us sister go on over here. And, Lord, I didn't know it was gonna come out like that, cousins. Look how. Look how that is. <clears throat> ah, we ain't got time for that. I'm glad I reserved my little measuring cup. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'll make sure I get a full cup. I did not know that lemon juice was going to come out like that, Lord. So we're going to reserve this. Let me just sit this here. Because, honey, here her go. I'm just going to keep stirring just like that. All comes together, mix everything well together. Mmm. Get your whisk, honey. You just work that wrist, honey. You get on in there and you just work it, honey. <clears throat> get all them cousins right there. And don't waste your money. I told y'all about throwing away your money. Let me tell you, well, it's stuck, cousin. Andrew. You better go over there and unstick it. It was unstuck when you brought it in the store. You better go over there and unstick it. I ain't got time for all that. I got to get all my money. Y'all see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, cool. So listen. I'm going to put these just like this. Put it back over here. Okay, look at there. Just like that. So I have four cups of confectioner sugar, two teaspoons of the Duncan Hines lemon. Um, I'll put the thing in the bottom of the directions at the bottom of it, of the video, so you all can have it. All right. So what I'm going to do... We're going to make this a half a cup. So we're going to say four and a half cups because I want it to be just right. Mm -hmm. That'll do it right there. Every time. Every time. Get my little drip of milk in there that was in there. I got to get the drip. It's the drip for me. <clears throat> say it with Cousin Angie. It's the drip for me, baby. So four and a half cups of confession of sugar. Two teaspoons of your Duncan Hines Creamy Lemon Supreme Frosting. <clears throat> a drip of the lemon, the real lime. 
and honey, <laughs> that lemon juice came out there like it was ready to go. It was like, mm -mm, get to the cake, get to the good part. So listen, honey, on that lemon juice, honey, I think her came out to be about four tablespoons, honey. I don't know. She came out swinging. Okay. Look at that. Honey, I ain't trying to play. I'm trying to get to the good part. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get to that good part, sugar. Cousin Angie trying to get to the good part with the kids, honey. Look at this. We gonna just act like we don't even know. Mmm. Look at her. That is some good old cake right here. Get my, I gotta get all my glaze right there. I ain't trying to let her go to waste. Now look at her. What you say? What do you say? Cousin Angie ain't come to play with y'all, honey. She's trying to talk to the kids for the one time. Let me get that picture right there for the one time. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> let me take that picture. Give me one minute. Listen. You all give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this recipe, this cake. Please share this video with everyone on all of your platforms. And leave me a message, honey, because I know you're going to love this daggone cake, honey. Please be sure to try this recipe, honey. Come back and leave your cousin a message and tell your cousin what time it is on this cake, honey. All right. Listen, don't let the kids eat up your cake. If you smart enough, you be like, shh, they asked you the cake ready? No, it ain't ready, baby. Go back in there finish playing on the game system. Go ahead and get you some cake. Don't tell nobody I told you. All right, now listen, I gotta go because I'm a little hungry and I gotta get the cake before they get the cake, okay? Cousin Angie, love y'all. Take care of one another. Pick up the phone and call somebody tell them you love them. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting me always. And I'll see you tomorrow with another one of my Southern Comfort Dishes. Good night. Bye.